everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I am continuing with my water-themed series uh, for an upcoming show. And uh, so today I'm going to be doing a betta fish, and I'll be using a string pole and probably some swiping, uh, swing uh, the string pole for the fins and then swiping for the body. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. And my paints have been mixed. One part paint to two parts Floetrol. Colors, I have the Folk Art Color Shift in Aqua Flash. And Purple Flash. Artist Loft Metallic Blue. And this is a mix of colors. Uh, this was left over from previous painting. So there's some magenta. A uh, touch of magenta in there, and probably cerulean blue and phthalo blue, and titanium white. All right, let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to lay down my base coat and pray that it's enough, because I don't know if I could ever mix that color again. Off in our wrapping part. I have some of this ball chain here. This is just a ceiling fan pole, but sometimes you can find it by the yard. I'm going to start with uh, this fin. This will be the, the back. The head will be here. All right, about to try this first chain pole. I'm in high speed mo mode now because this took forever. Oh, not so good. Let's try it again. Nope. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to think of something else. Maybe I'll, I'll try it one more time. Oh no. Okay. We're going to do it around the edge and bring more color in and see if that helps. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I hope you guys get a kick out of this because this was a battle for me. This was brutal. It was very frustrating. I dropped the chain several times. Too much paint. The chain was going underneath the paint instead of on top of it. And oh, there I did it again. I had to do a voiceover, A, because I had to speed this up, but also because there were several expletives. All right, so I'm just trying to do the fish shape now, give myself an idea of where the uh, body's gonna be. I don't know if you hear drums in the background. I'm outside doing this voiceover because my man is practicing drums. Yep, more chain poles. Definitely, this is, this is not coming easy to me in any way, shape or form. If anything, this is a lesson in persistence never give up never surrender oh well, yeah let's just keep adding more paint because there's not enough paint on this canvas already <laughs> Ugh. so frustrating okay now i see there's way too much paint i'm now i'm scooping up paint i got about a half of one of those cups up off of there those cups hold three ounces so i pulled about a probably at least an ounce off from right there. Oh yeah, that was the one where I dragged it in to the other fin. That was great. I was not gonna let this painting beat me. So now I'm like, oh, maybe if I try smaller sections, it'll work out better. Uh, 
I have much respect for those of you who get these chain pulls down and, and do it perfectly the first time. So I'm trying to pull some color in using the palette knife. I'm trying to get some definition. I'm trying to fix things that are probably not fixable with a palette knife. <laughs> This is just brutal. This is brutal. Is this brutal for you to watch? Because it's brutal for me to watch. And this is at eight times the speed. So imagine suffering through this real time <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> yeah. This one put me to work, that's for sure. I'm sure at some point soon I'm I'm going to have to be okay with what I with what I got. I think maybe do I Now I'm trying to clean up the spots that I've dripped. I should have just left them there because I wound up adding spots anyway now I'm losing the shape of my fish so I'm trying to put that back in I'm just adding lines here where the chain skipped. I think I, I finally had it with trying to get this chain pull to work for me. Scooping up more paint. <laughs> Working really hard on this piece. I had a betta fish when I was a kid. It was green and red and blue, and I named it Rainbow. Very original, I know. But it would eat out of your hand. You always look grumpy, though. So this one looks a little grumpy. When I'm finished with him, I might have been projecting my feelings about this painting, the process of it, onto my fish. Maybe a little bit. More lines, more futzing, more trying to get this to look right. Okay, finally moving on to the body. Did not really go much better than the fins. Uh, I was just having issues. I think some days the paints work with you and some days they kind of don't. And I think this was a don't day. I had to work hard. Now I'm trying to get this body to look like a fish. I'm trying to get some kind of shading in there so it has a, uh, a shape to its body. As we know, the depth always comes with the addition of the shadows and the highlights. Now 
so these fluid acrylic impressionist paintings don't really look like much until you start adding those highlights and shadows. Still trying to get blending and cells at the same time. <laughs> Am I asking too much of my paint? Probably. I'm kind of just trying to put in some scale-like things, just little hatch marks, connecting cells and all right, I'm trying to put in his gill there, where that might be. And his little grumpy mouth. If you're still hanging on this long, God bless you. I imagine there's probably going to be a lot of people doing the high speed scrubbing on this piece. I don't blame you. Lots of trial and error, lots and lots of that. Still not looking like much yet. Just a mess. These color choices might not have been uh, ideal, I think. Maybe if I'd gone with the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green with that blue, I would have gotten some better effects. And I'm just trying to shape his mouth a bit. And kind of putting in the shape where his eye would be. Oh, good, more chain swipes, yeah, yeah. Didn't quite have enough of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, right into the fish face, perfect. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this was really a tough piece. Was... So just so you know, when you're struggling with a piece, anytime you try something new, uh, you know, in, in the fine art world, we would call this a study. Not all pieces are masterpieces. Sometimes it's a study where you're just learning about the process and what works and what doesn't. So we'll just call this a study. There are no failures. No fails, just opportunities to learn. All right, it's starting to look slightly less weird. Somewhat like a fish. A little bit fishy. And 
And again, I'm adding into his eye. Trying to give him a face so he looks like a creature with a grumpy face. He's definitely looking cranky. Trying to get that shape right. All right, and I'm cleaning up that fin. Trying to fix his gill that I drag the chain through. Okay, here it is. It is mostly dry. It is in its proper orientation. Uh, mostly dry. It's still a little wet right there. But the flash is very pretty in it. I know it's hard to see because there is some glare there. Uh, I did make some changes to it and forgot to hit record. So you'll see these little droplets. I just took uh, a comb and dipped it and flicked it. Just flicked it to get that on there. And then just laid in some bigger drops like those. I think it's to kind of give it that uh, watercolor type effect. I did add some purple in those fins and in a couple of other places to try to make it look like a different fin, give it some separation. And I came in on these edges and I tried to blow them out, but they were pretty dry. I just didn't like the way that they looked. And so I kind of pulled it out a bit to give it a bit more of a raggedy effect as the betta fish often has. There's definitely room for improvement. I had too much paint to begin with. So when I was doing the body, I was having issues and uh, yeah. So I will actually come back in and add a little bit of black metallic black to the eyeball to give that a little more depth but that's it i hope you learned something i sure did that uh, chain pools are not my forte <laughs> thanks for sitting through this i hope y'all got some chuckles out of it because i did upon editing uh but that's it for me please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff and check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar, if you feel so inclined. Uh, my Amazon store, the link is there. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, if you enter through that link, I make a small commission of at no additional cost to you. It doesn't have to be something from in my store itself. Our group, Go Make Some Art, join us on Facebook. Pop on over there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. And my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can purchase my art and my music and my brand new CD, Better Than Chocolate. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.